Howdy. Um, I've done some searching and I haven't found any uh, uh, tutorials that show how to use the actions menu in Photoshop and uh, it's a pretty useful tool. Uh, you can record your own if you find yourself doing the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, you can record your own actions and uh, then just by the click of a click of the button you can uh, get the effect that you like. So uh, what I've done here is I've opened up an image and uh, I'm just going to apply a border to it. Now over here we have this little play menu and that's our actions. I click on that it opens up the actions uh, menu. You might see it like this at first. Um, you can add actions. I've downloaded some different uh, different actions that can be loaded into the uh, Photoshop. You have a little menu drop down, open it up, and here are, are, are the uh, default actions that come with Photoshop. Um, so you see you have a frame channel and a wood frame channel. Frame channel uh, will just provide a very basic border, uh, pretty much a white border, and it allows you from there you can make the modifications that you want, uh, change the colors, change check textures, um, play with the layer style, and uh, get whatever effect you want. Um, what I'm going to show you is the wood frame, and it's basically the same thing, only it pre fills with a wood frame uh, look to it. Uh, what you'll notice here, now this is one bit of warning, well, if I open this up, it's going to do all these actions. So what's, uh, what happens is after you're done with this, uh, chances are you won't be able, it'll go all the way down to this one. Um, and uh, what'll happen is if you decide to undo it, it'll have to undo each individual step. So chances are your undo won't uh, step you back far enough. So before you use this, make sure you've saved whatever uh, you've done to the image up to this point. That way if you don't like it, or if you make a mistake, you don't have to worry about trying to undo everything. So again, save your work before you use this. Um, so I'll close this. I'm going to go to the wood frame, and you'll notice at the bottom of this, there's just a little play menu and play selection and it will automatically do it. So I'm going to do that real quick. It will ask me uh, that the minimum size of the image is 100 pixels wide and tall. Uh, chances are you won't want to do this on anything smaller than that. So, And most of your images will be bigger than that, hopefully. Um, just be warned that if it's, it is smaller, it won't work. So I click continue. and in the background it does all its stuff. You'll notice that the border has been added right over here um, and I've got these extra layers and uh, so I've got a layer one, you notice it has effects to it. Layer two also has the bevel and emboss and you notice this is our frame. If I click on there, double click right in this blank area it'll come up with the layer styles. Now one thing you can do in here if you want to add, a, say you want to add a texture to it, you can click on that. Also make sure if you just click on the on the checkbox you'll notice that over here you won't get the effect you want. You won't be able to see the modif way to modify it. You need to actually have the whole line selected. So um, that's just, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, down here on texture, if I want to add a texture, I can choose from any texture that I have here and just click on a bunch of different ones and you'll see a change on the picture itself. So if I want to add a texture like a burlap type effect, I can click OK and you'll notice that now the frame has a texture to it. Now you can also change the colors. If I go back, open this up, I can do color overlay and that will change the color. 
and uh, I can choose a different color if I want. So if I want to make this like a blue color, click OK, click OK, and I have a blue color. Looks terrible, but you get the idea. Um, I'm just showing you different things you can do in the uh, layer styles menu. Um, just play around with color overlay, uh, bevel and emboss, textures, contours, um, just go crazy. You can uh, change the entire look of that frame. Just remember to double click on the uh, layer itself right in about here and uh, all your modifications can be done from there. And that's the quickest way to add a border in Photoshop and I hope that helps you.